Hello and welcome to the Forley site on behalf of ExxonMobil and our contractor companies. ExxonMobil believe in nobody gets hurt, meaning that everyone finishes their working day the same as they started it, safely. The nobody gets hurt belief is based on the fact that we believe all accidents are avoidable and preventable. Working safely and protecting the environment are the most important things here at Forley. We mean what we say. We expect everyone to maintain the highest standards and follow our site rules, which are designed to keep you safe. Because everybody's safety is so important to us, we cannot tolerate failure to meet these standards and rules. This induction will explain our key requirements and will help you to meet our expectations. Please concentrate on what we tell you and respect our advice. Never use mobile phones, radios or other electronic devices whilst in refinery areas. Do not use mobile phones at all, except within designated areas of site buildings. Most areas of the site require the wearing of some amount of personal protective equipment, PPE. This varies from the wearing of light eye protection in some areas to the wearing of full PPE in areas adjacent to the process units. Your host and signage will indicate the various standards that you'll need to comply with. Forley uses the Loss Prevention System, or LPS for short. This behavioural-based safety system is used in most Exxon mobile sites worldwide. LPS comprises key tools used in order to prevent incidents and injuries and to share all losses and near losses. The first key tool of LPS is the Safe Performance Self-Assessment, or SPSA. This is a continuous mental risk assessment process where you assess the risk and establish what's the worst that can happen, analyse how to reduce the risk, and act to make sure you've mitigated all hazards. We call this simply the three A's. As a visitor to the Forley site, we consider you are a vulnerable person, and at all times you'll be escorted. Wear an orange lanyard, and if out on site, wear an orange hat, and never be unescorted. We mean what we say. We expect everyone to maintain the highest standards and follow our site rules, which are designed to keep you safe. And because everybody's safety is so important to us, we cannot tolerate failure to meet these standards and rules. If you're visiting the site to work, then you will need to be signed in on a short-term contractor pass, SCP. If you're going to be on site for five days or more, you will need to attend a full site induction. You must report any failure to follow the rules to your supervisor, irrespective of the people involved. The circumstances surrounding the rules breach will be investigated to establish the root cause and to put in place a solution that prevents reoccurrence. In the area of safety, the most important rules are life-saving rules. We fully acknowledge some of these rules may go further than other places you may have worked at, but we make no apology for this you're expected to follow these without question. They are our standards at our site. As visitors, you must adhere to these 100% of the time. The life-saving rules are as follows. You must continually use personal fall protection equipment if exposed to a fall of more than two meters, if you are two meters off the ground and not on a permanent complete deck or green tagged scaffold deck, if the risk assessment for the job requires fall protection to be worn below two metres. The only exception to this is when using ladders and stairs. You must follow our work permit procedures and have appropriate permission to do any work on our site. When a work permit is required, it must be in place before work commences. It should be filled in correctly and all permit conditions must be understood and complied with for the duration of the task. You must follow our energy isolation procedures, including the use of personal padlocks where required. Safety critical devices and equipment must not be interfered with, removed or bypassed without the correct authorization and mitigation in place. There are other key site rules you need to follow. Do not possess or consume alcoholic beverages, prohibited drugs or other intoxicants, or to be under their influence whilst on site and do not bring these substances onto site. The site limit for alcohol in a breath sample is half the legal limit for the public road. 
Do not smoke other than in designated smoking shelters identified by smoking permitted signs. Vapor cigarettes, or e-cigarettes as they're known, are not permitted anywhere on the site. Do not bring firearms, unauthorized explosives or weapons on site. Do not indulge in horseplay, fighting or malicious damage. You will face disciplinary proceedings if you do. Do not bring matches or lighters for smoking into the site. There are lighters in the designated smoking shelters. To drive on site as a visitor, you will require to be signed in on an SCP. You must have a current driving licence for the class of vehicle you're driving. Our site is large and we require you to drive with care and attention. You're required to report any road traffic incident and always drive defensively. Always wear your seatbelt and always drive with dipped headlights. Remember, at Forley, stop really means stop. So fully stop at road junctions and crossings where there's a stop sign and continuous line on the junction. You must not drive into an operating area without the correct pass or permit. You must always follow the highway code. Reverse park wherever practical and never leave your engine running whilst unattended. Always shut off your engine if the gas alarm sounds in your location. Never use mobile phones, radios or other electronic devices whilst driving in refinery areas. The minimum personal protective equipment in operating areas is a safety helmet, safety boots, safety spectacles or goggles, flame retardant overalls or coveralls and gloves. You must wear a minimum of single hearing protection in all plant operating areas and other areas where indicated by signs, that is earplugs or earmuffs. For noise exceeding 95 decibels, you must wear double hearing protection, that is earplugs and earmuffs. When you've finished with your earplugs, they are to be disposed of in the appropriate waste container, not on the ground. Asbestos is present in many operating areas. You must not disturb asbestos materials. There are many hazardous and toxic substances on the Forley process units. You must follow your company COSH assessments and procedures and the requirements of your permit to work to minimise the risks of exposure to these substances. Most blocks also have local inductions which you must attend before starting work. The purpose is to give you more information about the specific hazards you may encounter. These blocks have alarms to indicate the presence of gas or another emergency. In an emergency, it's essential that the emergency response is initiated immediately. This can be done by using the plant emergency telephones, by dialing 999 on the internal SLX phones or by radio. Begin your message with the words, urgent, urgent, urgent. If your personal HUS monitor alarm, the block alarm or coma alarm sounds, immediately stop work, use your respirator and go across wind, as indicated by the block windsock, to an evacuation assembly point. You should expect to have a daily job start discussion with your supervisor or their nominated stand-in each day. You are to actively participate in this safety discussion as it is our expectation of you. Forley uses the Lost Prevention System, or LPS. You should remain focused during your task and consider any new hazards should they arise. If you cannot do your task safely for any reason, stop work and consult your supervisor or safety advisor. It's important to avoid tripping hazards through good housekeeping. Always correctly segregate and dispose of waste in the correct waste containers. For all tasks you are participating in, consideration for the environment is to be considered during both planning and execution. And as such, appropriate solutions are to be put in place to protect the environment at all times. Should things go wrong and you're hurt, no matter how minor the injury, you must report it to your supervisor and go to the site first aid centre on block three, outside the central maintenance building. This will ensure that you obtain prompt treatment. You should also report any near losses, also known as near misses, to your supervisor and together fill out a simple form which will enable the root cause to be identified and appropriate matching solutions put in place to prevent the near loss becoming a loss for the next person. If you're expected to work at the Forley Marine Terminal, there are a number of additional controls in place for your safety and security. 
Because the marine terminal is like a ferry port or airport, by law we have to implement security measures to control access of people and goods. To gain access to the terminal, you will require an additional pass from Gate 2. Whilst the rules for working at the marine terminal are no different than anywhere else within the Forley site, the marine terminal is located within an environmentally sensitive area and therefore has its own additional hazards and constraints, rules and procedures which you'll need to adhere to. Particular care must be paid when using walkways, ladders and gangways, as they are slippery due to the nature of the marine environment. All lines at the marine terminal are live, containing either hydrocarbon or utility products such as steam and nitrogen. As parking is very limited at the marine terminal, you're required to check with the marine terminal permit coordinator prior to bringing a vehicle onto the terminal. When at the marine terminal, if you're working within one metre of the edge of the berth front, then you're required to wear a life jacket at all times. The information that you have just seen and heard will give you a good understanding of the priorities we place on safety, security, health and the environment. In summary, we do not want you to be involved in an incident. We do not want you to be injured. We do not want you to injure anyone else. And we want you to go home safely. If there is any aspect of this induction or the site rules that you don't understand or require more clarification on, please talk to your host or supervisor. Thank you for listening and keeping our site safe.